this year. You got the boom, looking down on these players. Do you remember, like, maybe it was just my circle of friends, but they used to say that if you leave the GameCube on for a week, that moon would come so close to the stage, like it would get bigger, and then the stage would eventually explode, and then the game, the game would turn off. Yeah, that's right. That's an Easter egg they yeah. have on the stage. Wait, yeah. that existed? Yeah, that happens. Oh yeah. my god, I didn't actually. No, that's not real. I can't. <laughs> that's not real. I don't believe you. I tried it myself, man. <laughs> Because uh, I remember we tried it as kids and it was like, this isn't working. Yeah. Maybe we just missed it. Maybe it just, and then it, of course the GameCube freezes after you leave it on for a week. Go of figure. course, of course. But, <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, yes. So, I guess we're seeing some unorthodoxness here. We're getting a little bit of ICs. Uh, oh, wow, and it's wife. Wife, and I believe that's his brother. I was talking to him earlier. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to wife if you're ever watching the boss. Appreciate you, homie. Um, against Diz Kid Boogie and SS Cobalt. Um, yeah, I was just about to say that. Uh, you got Cobalt and this kid Boogie. And uh, this kid Boogie's going to stay Ice Climbers in his doubles. You know, I'm always expecting uh, these players to choose like their secondaries or like the worst characters in this event. But um, looks like they really want to win. <laughs> <laughs> They're going in. Uh, so I guess let me ask you this. So tell me, with this particular team cop, it seems pretty interesting, right? So I don't think we see Icy's that much in doubles. No, not at all. I, I rarely see it, in my opinion, overall. So, but, I mean, is there what's that unique aspect that you can expect from Icy's? Well, for sure, it's going to be so hard for them to grab another player to be able to get a wobble, because they're always going to be interrupted no matter what. But I feel like uh, what this kid Boogie's doing right now, he's throwing the Icicles, he's uh, staying behind. But at the same time, uh, the stage oh no. actually wrecking him there. That is tough. That show is too slippery, man, too. <laughs> but you're right. You're not going to be able to get those wobbles. So maybe there's. That's when you kind of see sometimes that Icy's will degenerate into wave dash back, wave dash forward, down smash, yeah. and then just play floor as lava as much as they possibly can. Um, they'll try to stay into areas where maybe it's like a platform or something that's smaller, like that platform right there, where yeah. they can just so down smash. Right and then just wait for someone and react. And even there, when you get smashed into the roof and get sent curling down below, you get some fun results. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that a lot of these uh, old school stages is there are a lot of tech opportunities. Like if you don't know how to tech in these stages, you can have such a hard time. You can get absolutely destroyed. I, you know, the, the way that I think a lot of my friends trained when we were younger was we'd always play on Hyrule. Yeah. And we would always go to the bottom in the little cavern. Yeah, yeah. And then it would just be like, okay, we're already at 300%. Let's see if you can actually learn to tech now. And then we just go at it. Uh, <laughs> so if any of you guys are trying to figure out how to tech and how to practice, that's one way to do it. I'm sorry. It's been forever since I've seen this stage. This stage is amazing. <laughs> the music, the background, mm. just like the things they have on the stage. Like this stage is alive. God, it's so sick. Everything feels like and that massive ceiling. Like, oh, oh it's intense, man. But when the acid rises, it's gonna give them opportunities, man. I'm gonna tell you that. Oh yeah, I've completely forgot about that aspect. That's <laughs> so. Oh, it looks like Shine is gonna be the one to separate the two. And oh, but actually helping the teammate there. Oh yeah. Now with the ground, <laughs> with, with the acid rising here, I mean, now it turns into okay, who has the best down smash to cover platforms? And Peach, as long as someone lands there, she can just down smash and cover a lot of that platform if anybody comes in. No fly zone. You got Wife and Silence uh, playing a lot better than before, but well, actually, Wife still has four stocks here, but ooh, Silence on his last one. I mean, it looks like Wife is going to just play that role, that support role and kind of stay back and break up fights when he needs to. But apart from that, he's content on holding on to his stocks, and who can blame him? Uh, I mean, you, you can't, your, your brother's at kind of a, a lower percentage here. Like, Silence is kind of working his way back. Um, but now he's trying to give him that extra life that he needs, and they're going to protect him with the share stock right here. Yep. Oh, God. Breaking the goo right there, and right when he broke it, um, it was Kobo falling through the platform and actually dying there. <laughs> oh, man. There's a rising air as he holds it back. Chance here. No. He doesn't go for it. Uh, so Wife is doing his best to just kind of get this box off of him, get him a little bit of breathing room, and then we're going to be able to move him back in. He's going to be looking for that backer? No. Looks oh, like yeah. yeah. Wife looking for the center throw with the rising acid hitbox. Oh, the stun, rather. Oh, there's the back air. No, not going to be able to get there. A little bit of potential team fire. I'm glad the shield came up just in time. Okay. 
Where's the follow-ups here? There's the down smash. Okay, got you. There's another one. Dude, that, it's so important to, to have quick reactions on the DI whenever you see that the down smash is coming, man. That's right. You want to get... I, I hear... I've been testing it a little bit myself, but I think down, up, and towards is the best way, especially if you're getting... Because you're going to get pulled inside. Yeah. You're definitely going to get hit at least twice, but you want to make sure that you're DIing up and in. Uh, so that way, uh, towards your opponent, towards Peach. So that way you can try to see if you can use that extra pull that's coming with the hits and then pull yourself out of those vortexes. Oh, you got this kid, Boogie, grabbing wife there. But, uh, oh, wow, that's it. He's gonna be able okay, to here we go. Oh, man. So wife on his last stock, high percentage. Oh, this man is in trouble. It's all right. He's going to be able to hold it together just long enough. Oh, DI is just in time. Now he's done. Yeah. Good effort, valiant fight, my friends. Uh, but we're going to be seeing this kid Boogie and SS Cobalt come out on top. <laughs> dude. So weird. So man. much like, nostalgia, I, dude. I'm just not used to this. I, I've never been in the scene that long. Like, I got into the scene at least, uh, should be like around three years. Uh, okay. I, I started playing, like, my first, like, melee tournament. Were you a dot overall. kid? Were you a no, melee dot kid? Okay. No, no, I was actually a Falcon player in the beginning. Okay. And then uh, no, 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 I transitioned no. into Fox. Like, but were you a documentary kid? Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, Doc? No, 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 I'm like, no, no, no. Mario? No. <laughs> but, um, no, I wasn't at all, actually. Um, so you were just like, you found the scene organically? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Was uh, it, like, somebody that, like, one of your friends that brought you in, or was it just, like, you just was... walked into a game store and these guys are just going ham? Was it your buddy's place? And he said, yo, I heard about this tournament going on at my buddy's house. It was actually, um, there was a party going on mm. in Miami, and mm. I went to it, and I saw these two players uh, playing melee. Mm. And, you know, I, I've been like like a Smash kid since way back then, you know? Um, I started playing the game when I was at least, uh, I'm 24. Yeah. So I started playing at, like when I was 9 or 10, mm. and that's when my friends introduced me to uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. And then from there on, I started playing it ever since, and I was I would play Fox. Like yeah. I would four smash, four smash, four smash. I would grab him. Like I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. Yeah. But I think a lot of us didn't know what we were doing for a while. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I find it so crazy how I jump back on this game, mm. and I learn all of these like new strategies, all these new texts, like what you can do with the character you mm. love. Like it's it's remarkable, man. Overall, but I had a little sidetrack there. <laughs> uh, back to the party. Um, <laughs> yeah, I started playing and all that, and I just got hooked. Like the guy obliterated it? me. I saw him like floating across the stage. And I'm like, what is this man doing? Like, is he <laughs> cheating? Like, and I told him like, well, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're cheating. Yeah. And he's like, no, man, I'm wave dashing. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> and then he gave me like this whole explanation, and he was like, this is what it is. You're, uh, this is the steps you need to take. Look yes. it up on YouTube, and then from there on, I was just hooked. Yeah. And I've seen all these players, all these grown men, yeah. <laughs> like playing this old game. Yeah. And and I, I'm liking it. I'm, I'm I love like, it. This is amazing. Like, I think for us in particular, like, and I think it, it goes with the theme of you know Smash the Record is we're out here like this, like reminiscing, this, having these nostalgic moments, and you know remembering our childhood. And for us, in my mind, you know, I wanted to come out to this event because I wanted to make sure that we give these kids at home at St. Jude's you know, a chance to potentially have the same kind of childhoods that we yeah. have, where, you know, they're able to, you know, have those nights with their friends, their late yeah. nights and or early mornings yeah. with their friends, gaming and having fun. And whether it's Melee, whether it's Call of Duty, whatever it is, I just want, you know, everyone as, to have as, the same e opportunity. Exactly. As long as you're having fun with the game that you love the most. I'm going to tell you this right now, Neptune. Video games have helped me so much throughout my life. Mm. And... There, there are going to be a lot of people out there that are going to tell you that video games are not going to help you in your life. Video games only bring you down. Mm. They're not going to help you at any point in your life. And I, that's wrong. No doubt. Like, they're wrong. Yeah. There's so much that we can learn, not only from the game, not only from each other, and the community that we can come from it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, every single one of these games has taught us some sort of a, a life lesson, you know. Yeah. And it's I've been lucky enough over the past two and a half years for, you know, Smash to take me where I am now. So... I don't know, guys. Never say never. Believe in yourselves. Believe that you guys can do it. And if you know any of you kids that are watching over there at St. Jude's, believe in yourselves. I believe you can do it. You can that's pull right. through. Uh, all that being said, though, I mean, big shout-out to everybody that's made this event possible. Uh, all the sponsors. For, for me, I like I said earlier, PvP Live, hooking me up, getting me yeah, coming man, out here. Yeah, I'm just glad you're here next to me. Um, I've been meaning to commentate with you, and yeah. <laughs> so far, I'm having a magnificent time. Brother, oh, this has been a lot of fun. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't We're just getting you. started, man. I this is